Hello everyone, in, in this video we're going to work uh, with the this button here, like the delete button so we can like delete notifications and stuff um, so yeah, the first thing that we need to do, we need to go to our um, views here, notification and we're going to create a new view called um, delete oops delete notification take a request and also it will take a notification id or no no tid that's how i name it so user will be request user and basically we're going to use notification objects dot filter ID will be noted ID user user and we're going to delete that notification that's it very simple and then we're going to return the user back to the um, back to the show notifications show notifications no let me see the URL Show notifications. Yep. Um, oh, we need to import redirect and yeah, pretty much. Let's now just go to the URLs. Let's import delete notification. Let me see. Yes, delete notification. And then um, here, path, and then we just basically um, no T ID, right? Pass a notification and delete. Name, delete notification. Um, yeah, pretty much save that and that should work. Let's go to templates and let's fix what is the oh, yeah, here is a delete thing. Let's change this one to a okay. This will take us to URL delete up. Oh, let me see. Okay. Delete notification. And now we pass oops. And now we pass the notification dot ID. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Um let's save. Let's copy the whole thing. No, oh, actually, just copy the whole like button and let's paste it here and here. Okay, okay, so let's refresh. Oh, what is this? It's showing like a. Oh, yeah, we don't need the. I think that's because of the. Let's delete this. I think, yeah. Oh. We need to delete it for this one. And this one. Save that. Refresh. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's delete this notification. Let's click here. Um, and here we go. Just delete it. Fast and easy. Um, yeah, the notification, the delete button is working. Now let's work with the, like, you know, the we have like a badge for the inbox notifications. Um, yeah, let's just create the same thing for the notifications here. 
So um, let's just go to views in here. Let's create a new view called count notifications there's request so we're doing the same thing that we did with the direct so count notifications zero and then if request that user that it's authenticated okay um Count notification will be notification that objects that filter and then user oops user will be equals to request user and of course it's seen equals false and then we count those okay and of course, here we return a list of oops, can notifications, can notifications. Yeah, that's it. Now, as we did before, let's create a new contest, a, new, a custom contest processor. Let's go here and like settings. And Let's see yep here so here we notification that views that let's copy the thing we don't want to make errors here and save okay um now let's go to our notifications here no no sorry base base um, and let's do the same thing in here let's, let's copy all of these let's copy and paste it here in the notifications area if I think we need notifications count let's count all of these copy paste save refresh okay zero okay so now let's log with some users this one okay post okay let's go this one and then I surely send a message to Bill Gates. We need to fix these buttons. It's just it's a joke. Um, send a message to Bill. Bill Gates. Send a message. Says hello. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Close that. Log out. Let's log with Bill Gates and see if the comments and how the inputs are working. But um, the inbox is working, but not the notification. Let's go to the views. Let's review the views here. Oh, sorry. Let's close all of these notifications, views. Oh, yeah. That's how it is. Um, basically, um, notifications is false, I guess. Not. So we're getting notifications here, but um, we need to. Let me see. Let's register it. Let me just. Yeah, let's just go. From notifications that models import notification. I mean that side that register. Okay, save that. Okay, here. Let's 
go to the admin. I just want to see some. I just want to see something. Admin. Okay. Uh, notifications. We have five notifications here. Um, and yeah, they're not seen. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So our view. Let's go to our view notification notification that object of field is seen to count. Just copy this one. Let's see the. Oh, I know. I know why it's not loading. We need to go to our base again. Let's go to our base. We forgot to. Let's see. Um. Um, let's see if yeah count is backwards that's why you see typos mm -hmm. beautiful typos sorry probably think like can you type me <laughs> and yeah here we go here we have our four notifications but look, if we go here, they never disappear. They just stay there, right? We need to fix that. We need to make sure that when we open notification, we mark the, notifi the those notifications as seen. So let's go to notifications, views, and yeah. So after we load the, all the notifications, Let's notification that objects that filter user it will be user and it's seen will be false and we're going to update it's seen to true okay safe now let's go to our go here base let's fix um, first of all um, let's see I hate what is the icon yeah I hate going there when I click on the yeah, delete that thing okay um let's copy this one um, Here, no. Let me see. That's a problem when you have like too many URLs. Okay, show notification. Show notification. So we can go to the URL, and now here. inbox okay save um, let's refresh this is Bill Gates he goes to notifications and here we are empty and we can delete the comments sorry the notifications and we, we and when we go to inbox here we go empty but yeah everything is working perfectly and that's the notifications for the for the user. Now, um, you remember when we created the the user that the picture was like too big and stuff. So in the next video, we're going to fix that. And yeah, 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.